Hey guys, it's Sherry Ann Richardson from ExoticGardening.com and I was actually going to wait for Jeff to do this video, but his work week has gotten a little crazy and I wanted to get this unboxing done. So I do need to tell you that I did receive this item for free in exchange for my honest review. All opinions are my own. And we have an LED grow light here. Um, I am super excited about this because I had actually been doing a little bit of research on these and thinking about getting one and then the offer came through. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. Let me remove the instructions and the sheet that came with it and show you guys a little better view. Um, it, this particular one has a remote control, which is always nice. Um, there is, okay, that's the clip for it, I think. Um, there is a, where did I see that? Okay. There is a controller as well on the lights themselves. And I want to show you, look at those lights. These are LED lights. Look at that. Um, very, very nice. It does have the clip, so if you want to use it just like this, um, someplace where it's a little shorter, you need, you know, you don't need the stand. You just need it to kind of clip and be there. You can do that. Inside of the two boxes, um, the one is the cord. And then the other box, I showed you what was inside of that. That is some kind of lamp or attachment of some kind. Um, so I will look at the instructions here in a minute as soon as I show you what all is in the box. Um, I'm going to have to set the box down. Okay, this must be the stand. Yes. Okay. So this is the stand that the light actually goes on and this is what I am most excited about because this is this is something that I actually wanted was one that was on a stand So it's real easy just to put in place and then just twist this like that. Um, and then you can adjust it up and down just like you would a tripod. Uh, this is what it is going to look like here. Because like I said, I wanted that. That was what I was after. Um, there are other options. Like I said, if you want it shorter, you can do that. Okay, um, okay, that looks like that is an adapter. So this other thing in the white box that I was wondering what it was, this is some kind of adapter. It doesn't say uh, right when you first open it other than it says it is an adapter. Okay. Um, it shows right in here, it shows the different controllers. So, and like I said, um, mine did come with a remote control. There is a remote control manual that is explained in here. And these instructions are in English. So I do want to say that because so many times you order items off of Amazon and the instructions are in another language and you can't read those. So I appreciate the company 
taking the time to get these translated into English so that those of us who speak English and want to buy this product can find it. Um, and I will leave a link down below in the comment section of the company that this is from um, so that you can find it. Okay. Um, it says the four keys controller. So you have a power on and off key, um, a short press one time to power on one lamp, two times to power on two lamps, three times to power on three lamps and so forth. So, um, oh, there's also a timing key. So this is a little bit different. Um, a short press once for three hours, twice for six hours, and three times for 12 hours, which is what most of you are probably gonna want, is the lights to be on for 12 hours. Um, it says after setting the time, the it will memory the time and work with the setting time continually so you don't have to reset the time every day so that's great because one thing that is really annoying is having to turn the lights on every day when you get up and then remember what time you turned them on so you know what time you turn them off so you know what time you can go to bed something that is automatic is much much better okay and it also says that the light modes there's a full blue a full red a blue and red with a one to two ratio and it says there are nine brightness adjustments so that's that's good um now for the collars, and I know that sometimes it's really hard to keep track of, well, should I use blue, should I use red, should I use red and blue? I often do use the red and blue together, um, just because I feel like that gives the plants the widest light spectrum. The blue is actually for your foliage growth and your root growth. Um, if you're trying to root something, if you're just growing a foliage plant and basically are, are not trying to induce it to flower, then blue is what you want. The red is for fruits and flowers. So if you think of a tomato, and most tomatoes are red, not all tomatoes, but most tomatoes are red, then you can kind of equate that red with fruits and flowers. So uh, that's kind of an easy way to remember it. And um, it also says that the red and blue, which equal violet, it says violet light can inhibit the incontinent growth of plants to form dwarf. Okay, that's not real good in English. Um, but I think it's trying to say that the, the red and blue together can sometimes inhibit growth. I have not necessarily found that to be a fact. Um, it may be simply because I haven't watched my plants well enough. And it may also be that and the winter time when they're inside and I'm actually using grow lights, I don't really want to encourage growth. I want the plants to just kind of stay where they are. I want them to work on their roots, maybe a little foliage. If they flower the fruit, that's great. But I don't really want the growth until they go back outside. So um, that's something to definitely keep in mind. And it says that these lights are good for melons and fruits, succulents, indoor plants, and getting indoor plants to flower. Um, so it is a standard. I'm gonna see if I can quickly assemble this. Um, 
it says that these are a standard um, plug-in. So if you're here in the US, these are gonna work fine with just, you know, a 110 plug-in. Okay, where is that adapter? I guess we're now gonna see what this adapter is used for. Um, okay. Maybe, maybe not. Um, oops, okay. I just dropped this, so I have to bend over to get it, guys. Um, okay, installation method. This is one of the issues of doing an unboxing live. Okay, I think. No. Okay. Yes. Okay. Got it. Okay, so to assemble this on the stand, you need to take this little black cap off, which will expose the screw right there. And then you put your adapter on. Let me set these back down. Okay, so you're just gonna put your adapter right there and twist it until it's tight. I can't do that with it up. Um, Okay, there we go. You want to get it all the way down so it's flush. And then I believe we are just going to clip. Yep, just clip and slide. If I'm doing this right, I don't feel like I'm doing this right. Maybe sideways. Um, oops. Okay, guys, so I wanted to show you exactly how this mounts because this is just a little confusing. This is the piece that actually goes on that I told you about that I showed you screwing down. And then this is the other piece. And as you can see, the bottom of this clamp goes right into there and then the top sits right up here on top. So that is actually how it mounts. Um, not quite how I thought it would mount. And I am wondering what that's going to do to the clamp later on. Be sure to press this back down. Um, I will show you the screw light on in just a moment. Okay, so I did get it set up and I wanted to show you, I have three up here and then I have one that I pointed downward to go over here on some lower level uh, cacti and succulents. So the ones that are facing upward, I wanted to hit these plants up here, which do like a lot more light um, and have not been getting it simply because of their location in the house. The light range, as you can see, it does go pretty far across. Um, now, I was not worried about my Theobroma cacaos because frankly, uh, they are a shade plant but it fit very nicely in this corner here. And I do have all of the lights on. Now, I also wanted to show you, um, this is the remote control. And so I'm not gonna set the 12 hour timer today because I don't want these lights going that late into the night, obviously. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you, now I have got, and you probably can't see these real well, but I've got both the red and the blue lights on. 
um, trying to figure this out here. Um, let's see. I'm probably going to have to play with these just a little bit more. See, that turned this button right here will turn the lights on and off. Um, okay, this button right here is how you change the lights. You can see those are all red. Those are all blue, um, which I may just leave those on blue for right now. So anyway, um, and like I said, this is the timer, if you want to do that. So all in all, um, and I'm going to come back and redo these after, redo another either video or blog post after I have tried these out for a little while. I think this is a really neat product. Um, I don't have it real stable back here, I guess, so I'm going to have to work on that. Um, do the lights stay exactly where I want them to? No, they moved around a little bit, but once I got them positioned, they did want to stay. Um, so I think a great product. I think you will definitely be happy with it if you're looking for something for your house plants. And like I said, I will put the exact link to this both in the video so you can buy this if you like, and also in the comments below. So guys, if you love this video, please subscribe. If you want to see more, definitely subscribe. You have to click that little bell to get notifications. Otherwise, if you subscribe and you don't click that bell, you won't be getting notifications. Also, if you would like to support our channel and what we do, click that join button down there. We have three different levels of membership, starting at just $1.99 a month and going up. We would love to have your support so that we can keep making videos and doing what we do to bring you the content that you want to see. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great night.